Hello, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we're going to be making this gear shift bracket. So start a new part file and change the units to metric. So in my document properties, I click on units and change it to metric and click OK. And so we're going to click the sketch and we, we for this feature, we are going to start with this cylinder and build everything else around it. So once I click the sketch without selecting a plane, it gives me all my planes. And you want to draw that cylinder on the front plane. So, and just draw a circle. And let's add a, di a dimension to it, which is going to be a diameter that's going to be 54. So now let's draw a line that is tangent and let's draw another line on the bottom that is tangent to that circle. And now can draw another line out here connecting all four lines. So I'm just going to merge this together. And once you have that, trim this part off and let's add this dimension from the center to the edge is going to be 14. And that is this dimension you see over here. So once we have this, all we need to do is go to Feature, Extrude. So then what we are going to do now is actually click the offset and change the direction. And we are going to offset it 27. And the 27 is this distance. So we are offsetting the 27. And now the rest is going to be 87. So because it is 114 minus 27. So you can actually type the equation in SOLIDWORKS 114 minus 27, which gives us 87. And we want that in the opposite direction. So everything you're doing should be going in this direction. And once you have that, click OK. Good. So now click on this face and uh, sketch. Uh, we're going to go normal to. I'm just going to move it over here and what we want to draw is um, we kind of want to draw a line from here going up something like this but um, that is collinear here and just draw something like this something like this for now and draw another line um, coming up this way and draw a radius and two point arc put an arc over here so we want something like this for now so what we're going to do is start adding dimensions to it um, from this point to this line is going to be 10 from um, the center line the center of that arc to the bottom line is going to be 5 and those two are right here and um, from the center line to here this point is going to be 27 and so what we're going to do from this point to this center um, the center is going to be 111 and everything is right here and trying to see what else I need from the center to the point is going to be 38 and that is right here the radius is going to be 64 and from the center again to the top center to the top let me try that again center to the top is going to be 87 and the only thing we need now is this and i believe this is horizontal with the the center point i mean vertical so i believe that this is vertical so you should have something like this and once that is done go to your feature extrude and we are going to extrude it this way 27 
because it is 54 overall so since um we are starting from this face and we are going to extrude it back 27 and click on direction 2 and you want to extrude it 27 as well in that other direction so you should have something like this and click ok good so so the next click on this face and sketch normal 2 and I'm just going to draw a circle and the circle is going to be this diameter over here which is that one for the keyway and let's just add the diameter which is 31.87 plus 31.75 divided by 2 so that's what you should have and once you have that we're going to draw a line up here and another line down here and um, bring the line over here just to this edge and draw another line here just to close it so what we're going to do is trim this excess off so you have something like this so you should have something like this then what we want to do is um, from the center to the bottom line that is going to be 12.5 and that is right here and from the bottom to the top that is going to be 25 so you should have something like this and go to feature extrude cut and that will be true all and click OK Good. So again, we can click on this face, um, sketch, number two, and this time I'm going to um, improve my image quality because I feel like sometimes it slows it down when it's jagged. So now um, we clicked on this face. So what we want to do is draw a center point rectangle. So if you hover over this arc, you will see the quadrant and you want to draw your center point rectangle on those quadrant or once you draw it make sure or you can make sure the center point is coincident with this arc then once you do that you can now select those two point and add a vertical relation so how you do that is you click this point hold the control key click this point and add a vertical relation and i'm going to do the same thing with this bottom one and i'm just going to add my dimension here is 6 and this is for the keyway and here is um, 3 and since we have this dimension we can click this line and this line make it equal and this line and this line and make it equal so our sketch is fully dimensioned feature extrude cut and I'm gonna select true all and click OK. Good. So now we come here, click the top face, sketch, uh, number two, and we are going to draw a um, not a center rectangle but a corner rectangle, something like this. And from this line to this edge is going to be 15.9 and this one line to that line is going to be um, 22.23 plus 22.22 divided by 2. Um, let me do that again. 22.23 plus 22.22 divided by 2. There you go. And from the back edge to this line is going to be 19 so once we have that we go to feature extrude cut and true all and um, instead of doing true all let's do up to next is the same so let's do up to next and click OK so now what we need to do if you look the radius for this back edge is different from this radius so click this back edge and sketch 
So we're going to go normal to and um, just draw a circle over here and click this point and this the point of that circle you drew and the, this edge and make it concentric. So it's on the same center line as that and now add your dimension to it. Since um, the radius is 75 and we're doing the diameter, we're going to add a diameter of 150 which is 75 times 2. Um, so what we need to do now is just go to feature, extrude cut and select up to next and click OK. So we pretty much have this part done. The only thing we need to do is add our hole now. So we have four of this. So we're going to use the whole wizard um, position and we're going to select this face to apply our first hole. So select it and put a point there and I'm just going to go normal too. And the dimension for this is going to be, so we're going to add a dimension to that point which is going to be from here to that center line is going to be 29 and from the top edge to this point is going to be 32 and once that's fully defined we can come into the type and it is going to be this second type and we want to make sure we enter this diameter this um, dimensions over here so it is the first one is going to be 6 the second one is going to be 11 and it is 90 and it is um, up to next so if you look at it it's going up to next so we have 6 diameter 6 11 and 90 okay good click OK and we are going to do the same thing on this side um, so before we do that let's just click on this drop down and show this sketch because that is going to be on the same point is on the other side so um, the whole wizard uh, we're going to come to the position select this face and drop it there so now we can um, I'm just going to go normal to so now I can click on this point and this point and click coincident and and once you click that that should be um, the 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 point turns black which means it's fully defined then we come to type we still have the same setting in there and we're going to click OK and we are going to do the same thing there is two more so whole wizard select this face uh, come to the position tab select this face and select that line and I'm going to go normal too so it should be somewhere over there or you can add the dimension which is 14 so if we try to add ours it's already 14 so we can just leave it um, the next dimension we need to add is um, from this edge to this edge which is 9 and once our sketch is fully defined come to the type we still have the same settings um, this one we can actually do true or because it's going up and down so uh, change this to true or and click OK and now we have one more so um, click on the whole wizard again come to the position tab select this face and just select somewhere over there and I'm just going to go normal too so and now you can click this point and this edge and make it concentric so it's centered on that and if you go back to your type you will still have the same settings um, because it's the same hole if, if you click through it's still gonna be the same thing or we can change this to up to next it's still going to be um, the same thing so and let me make sure everything is and click OK good so we have our holes and everything the only thing we need now is um, to cut this in there so we'll click on this back face um, sketch um, number two 
and click on the slot over here so I'm using the first one the straight slot uh, click on it and draw a line over here coming down and something like that and from the top this is how you dimension it hold the shift key down and click this top part and still holding the shift key down and click this bottom one and it gives you the full dimension for that and that is going to be 54 and the dimension from here to here is going to be um, 12.82 plus 12.70 um, divided by 2 and we just need to add um, some dimension so um, from this point to the top is going to be 78 and that is right here and what else do we need we need another dimension and this one from the center line to the edge is going to be 27 so that's fully defined and we're going to extrude cut it 13 so extrude cut which is right here 13 and click OK so here you go we are pretty much done with this part so all you need to do now is just add your filler to it and I'm going to hide this sketch because I don't need it um, so all you need to do now is just add your fillet to it so um, the fillet size is 3 so just go around and change your dimension here to 3 and we can just go around and uh, start adding our fillet to it um, sometimes this might break but if it breaks just um, add the fillet in the next round but this seems to be a good part that you should be able to get it all the fillets in very easy so I'm going to add a fillet over there um, a fillet over here a fillet over here there so that broke so I'm just going to move on somewhere else fillet over here so let me try that again also it did work that time and a fillet down here not that face I don't mean to click that face um, where else right here and right here I need to move this somewhere where you can see it so anyway that is how you I'm just gonna click OK for now so add your fillet and make sure you go around anywhere that I've missed make sure you add your fillet there and that is how you make this part this was a good one um, thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.